Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. As I promised today I will review the new multimedia system from Seat Leon and uh, I'm really impressed with what I see here. I have to say that it's very similar with what we see on the Volkswagen Golf uh, 8, the new Volkswagens and also on the new Skoda Octavia for example. If you didn't see these two updates uh, check out on my channel. I have the review there. We will start with the screen right there with the cockpit the digital cockpit and i have to say a few words it is super nice great quality resolution and colors are awesome you can have the the reading traffic signs you can see right there the car can read the traffic speed limit you have the temperature right here you have the the driving modes in the middle you have the time and date and all that info and even down there in what kind of gear you are the speed limit and stuff like that so it's it's quite impressive you can control it from the steering wheel from those buttons right here you can control very simple what you like to see there on the screen so you have different options for example like that you can see uh, in the middle uh, the consumption the time the day the speedometer turometer also the navigation you can have it right there in the middle so you can zoom in zoom out the way you want to use it also you have the speedometer turometer on the other side and the uh, adaptive cruise control in the middle also the buttons for adaptive cruise control are down here then um, you can customize forward for example if, if you can change what you like to see there in the middle of the speedometer that's also awesome you can choose what you like to see or you can choose what you like to see in the middle uh, right there of the turometer so it's kind of kind of interesting uh, how many customizable uh, things you have right here on it so you can also choose in the middle if you don't want to have the navigation you can choose to see um, yeah something else for example so that's that's pretty cool um, yeah then if you go to view you can change this view for example from here you can have the adaptive cruise control in the middle or you can have all that information uh, about the car the safety settings you can change and adjust from here it's pretty pretty cool then going forward guys you can change also in the left side what you like to have right there or you can cherish in the right side let me show you let me go in the right side and let me go out from here for a second just like that so let me go in the left and let me let me show you how many options you have to see there so it's pretty cool if you press the, on the x it will disappear and also here yeah let me show you just like that if you go to the x right now and then you press it then it's disappear and then it's just the middle part and in the middle part let me show you in the middle part you can choose what you like to see there in the middle for example look at this like the navigation there it look pretty awesome the navigation you can zoom in and out uh, or yeah you can customize in many many ways so it's kind of impressive what the car can do so I, I like very much the the new digital display it's really awesome great job uh, Seat now going in the middle here on the new uh, multimedia system we have a 10 inch display here uh, that we have it on the car and the colors the resolution it's awesome the way it looks here it's perfect also uh, the visibility from the driver point of view it is in the perfect position I like that very much we have some buttons here where you can control the climatic system for example you can turn it on and off and choose the temperature right there let me show you right now just every time I push it you can see the temperature go up and up and up and up or down 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 the way you want to choose it so it's pretty pretty awesome you can go directly to the climatic system right here choose the level a choice the different option the way you want to see um, the climatic system also you have for example here other settings in the back for the rear passengers you can choose the temperature this is free zone climatic really awesome and great technology also here you have all that defrosting stuff and 
cool cool my feet and warm my hands and all that stuff it's really awesome those uh, customized um, settings you can just press it up it also have air care clima this is the, the the great great system that we have on the skoda and on the volkswagen nowadays and also now come on the seat uh, then we have the settings here you can choice the way re recycle the air and all that settings about the climatic system so all those settings here are for the climatic system also you can close it from here if you want very simply going forward guys now that i show you the climatic system here is the main button right here with this button you can go in different settings for example now you are in home setting in home like this is home you have the navigation you have here the music for example the media and here you have the um, phone connection but i don't want to hear any music right now to be honest uh, but i just want to show you um, from here you can also control the sound for example the level of the sound here is you can connect your phone i will show you in the moment but let me go to the menu here we have menu we have navigation system and you have navigation all over the screen you have it also there you can customize the way you want it it's very cool for example i choose a destination right now and you can see it show you all the information here it's pretty smooth it doesn't have any lag at all great hardware great colors in my opinion and it's one of the best now one of the best on the market now here you can choose a stop if you want to say i want to stop at the gas station just press the gas station and show on map add stop over destination so you add it you add it to your route and now your car will stop at the gas station and then it will go forward and if you say i want to stop to mcdonald's yes i want to eat then you go to the to the gas station then the car and then, then you will stop to the mcdonald's and then it's it's super awesome <laughs> look at this it's so simple to do that and they they give you this suggestion right here so you can choose the way you want it the stopover and stuff like that so it's pretty awesome it's also calculate for you how much time you make until there so also um, the navigation system it's one of the best uh, as well the same as you see on the skoda and volkswagen these days in 2020 here you have all that option the sounds and uh, the way you want to hear it and also you can go to the settings of the navigation right here and then on the settings you have root guidance basic function navigation announcement and all that cool safety features so good now that we finish with the navigation let's go to the radio and media here you have the radio station you can put to favorite you can go to media you can connect to bluetooth you can hear music my media there uh, and also you have the settings here to choose different settings go here wi-fi traffic program and then select bluetooth audio and stuff then going forward the telephone here you can connect your phone without any problem nothing interesting there i think you already know full link here it's cool something cool connect your apple carplay android auto and all that stuff you can use it your device and this is super super awesome again another cool feature going forward user on the user you can connect your user so the car knows what your options are help here you get help about all this uh, multimedia system display and they help you here they give you all the information how to do it and you have also the voice um, voice commands on the car um, and legal notice i think is not so interesting then going to the vehicle here we have all the information about the vehicle traction control star stop settings lane assist adaptive cruise control then you have the driver alert system front assist exit um, wording uh, system this is also awesome and on echo assist this is awesome that when you open the door it will warn you up here you have a light that someone i don't know if you work right now but it will warn you when someone is there so it's pretty awesome here is dynamic also you can see the visual dynamic road sign display it will show you the the road uh, speed limit this is awesome you can see how you want to see it 
uh, and stuff like that also information about that then you have here the driving profile you can choose how you want to drive eco comfort normal sport mode you have different driving mode it's super awesome to have this on the car so uh, it's changed also the steering for example here on the individual you can change how the steering react you can drive in eco and acc adaptive cruise control the car come also with dcc so if you ask me guys it's a uh, in the back it's uh, individual suspension so that's that's pretty awesome it has this new DCC uh, feature on the car pretty awesome here it's something that I love about this car and not about this car all the car that have ambient light the car have ambient light guys here on the doors so here it has an LED light on the door I don't know if you can see it right now it's too much sunny uh, if you choose for example color let me choose white active and then here it's a red one I don't know if you can see it and even there on the on the on the dashboard all over the dash and even there we have the red light or whatever color you choose from here to, to see it's really really great and I love that uh, also beautiful dashboard if you didn't see the full review with the car check out on my channel uh, and you will see all the info about the car then here you have the interior infotainment system here you can choose all the information and you can adjust it the mirrors also you can choose the way you want to react light tires windows center locking you can change the settings from here pretty easy and simple let me zoom in a little bit just like that and then that's kind of the uh, option here on the on the car uh, then we go to data this is all the information about the car the last driving how much you drive how much you consume and stuff like that then you have the status here about the tire pressure and then when you have to make the service wipe wiper in service position they will go up like that and you can change it and yeah uh, going forward guys you have the air conditioning you already see it before um, and then you have the sound pretty great sound inside the car you have to know that that it's super awesome I like it and I also can adjust different settings here uh, very good sound I cannot hear you because the copyright but uh, I cannot show you but it's it's really good now going forward guys here you have different option you can change the language you can change the time date screen you have plenty of language I think all the Europe language, I think around 50, 20 language. Units, you can change in miles, kilometers, Celsius, uh, and all that stuff. Uh, boo -boo 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 settings, what was more? Voice control, of course, wireless, Wi-Fi, and data connect, mobile device, delete user factory, stuff like that. So then, uh -huh, this is the, the, the home screen. And then you have also down here, those option you know this is the shortcut button and you press here you go to navigation you press here you go to media you press you go to telephone press you go to the uh, full link and then you go to the service and vehicle information you go to the username here you can add your user then you can go to info or you go to the settings plus here you can customize all that stuff you, you press the plus and if you choice to have for example i want to have down there the um, sound and the sound appear here you go x and then the sound will stay there forever you can customize all that settings so yeah guys i guess that was the uh review this is all you need to know about it it's one of the best great colors very responsive you will learn it very fast even many people complain about that in the volkswagen but it's one of the best on the market so great job set also very easy to adjust from the steering wheel uh what can i say guys i hope it was helpful for you please subscribe to my channel check out my other videos also thank you very much for watching my videos guys i hope it was helpful you want to see the full review with this new Seat leon 2020 model check out on my channel the review is there and thank you again for watching subscribe like share it and see you soon in the next one bye guys